Welcome to the Cal Emporium Sunday Squash Edition. The Kabocha Squash has made a comeback this week, and it's turned itself into the most delicious fritters. This is that strange time after New Year's when you're just not sure what you should eat. You think probably you should eat healthy, not just a bunch of chocolates anymore. So I thought I'd start us off easy with some healthy squash. This time, we're not just hollowing out the squash. We're going to be dicing it up. So of course, we do need to take the seeds out of it. When you cut your squash up this time, just cut it into nice one inch chunks approximately. For this, we're going to be steaming this squash. So I filled the bottom of the pot with one inch of water. The squash goes in the top, the lid goes on, and I set the timer for 20 minutes. Sure be handy if I knew how to run my stove though. Yeah, I got the right burner this time. Okay, see you soon squash. So this recipe couldn't be simpler guys. There's an onion, some salt and pepper, Parmesan. Now for the dredge seasoning, there's flour, eggs, and panko breadcrumbs. I put some olive oil in my pan. I chopped the onion up. I noticed wearing these plastic gloves, it was hard to feel the onion. Fried the onion. And I put the salt and pepper in at this time. I checked my squash to make sure that it was cooked and I just put it on a plate. Let it cool for about 10 minutes guys so you don't burn yourself. In the meantime, I made the dip. I crushed one clove of garlic. There's mayonnaise in those jars guys, about a half a cup of mayonnaise. That is about a half a clove of fresh garlic and I put about a tablespoon of lemon juice in there. And the other jar is just mayonnaise and I add Tabasco to it for just a slightly different sauce. You want to make sure that you mix those up nicely. Now I take the skins off of my squash. And once I've got all the skins off, I put it into the bowl with the onions and the Parmesan. And then I just take a fork and I mash them all together. Make sure they're well mixed. Now this is the part where you would take a spoon and take approximately one tablespoon of the squash mixture, put it onto a cookie sheet, and then you start by dredging your little squash balls into the flour, slightly forming them into flatter oval type shapes. Once they're done in the flour, they go for a dip in the egg mixture, freshly squeezed chicken eggs. After the egg mixture, they go into the panko to get nice and breaded, and then they return to your cookie sheet. And when you're all done, you take your beautiful cookie sheet that's not a disaster, and you put it into your fridge. But be careful, you don't want to show anybody your fridge. All right, after 20 minutes in the fridge, those guys are nice and firm. I heated the oil up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Be careful putting your little future fritters into the oil. And I'll tell you guys, they cook quickly. They only need about a minute and flip them halfway. So at about 30 seconds, give those guys a flip. Now you want to have a somewhere to put them when they come out, of course. So I have a metal rack over top of a broiler pan with some paper towel under there to catch the oil. Mmm, you know what guys, I can't tell you how delicious these are. I say that every time, but I'll tell you what, these guys, they disappeared in about 15 minutes. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by.